Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a former pro opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be listening to Fatalis from Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I get the sense that Fatalis is not just another monster. There's something uh, super intriguing about even just the name Fatalis. Fate, faded, you know, what, what, what's going on? So let's go. Okay, so um, first of all, we've got that creepy crawly, that plucked, plucked pizzicato style sound, and we're and we're moving into uh, something quite ominous, and it seems if it, it sounds very, 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 very serious and concerning. Spicy. Again, when we have short notes and we have very clean, fast cutoffs, you know, that that sense of forward momentum there and and dum 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 that that not only is that interesting from a vocal perspective as a singer, but then also it's um it's quite difficult and and the intent there is to again heighten the pressure and heighten the tension. Um yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's something about Fatalis here that is very, very, very bad. Like, this is not, there's no benevolence in this sound whatsoever. This is like raw terror, right? And uh, and it, it reminds me a lot of the Rite of Spring. Listen to this. Same sort of vibes. Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. When the audience heard this, some of them got sick to their stomachs, some threw up, some left. And so it's interesting that our um, our tonal ear has very much changed. That now we have things like Fatalis in video games and we understand as uh, participants and audience listeners that there is a specific intention for this. The Rite of Spring is a story about the sacrificing of a young woman at an altar and and the dance the macabre dance around her and and sort of the sacrifice ritual and in 1913 when it made its debut at the at the Théâtre de Champs-Élysées it was like a riot happened and uh it's interesting how we have a similar soundscape now in 20 the 2020s 2018 2019 2020 and the the language that's being used compositionally is not that different from what Stravinsky was using. I mean, you hear this tight These stepwise, it's it, this stepwise up in the upper register. I mean, there's nothing but there's no, no good that's coming out of, of that. That's a very evil and a very uh, a danse macabre that you hear in this, and it's it's very violent and it's very aggressive and and terrifying in a lot of ways. <laughs> Oh,
Wow, listen to which is actually funny because that is the same melody as a, a Rachmaninoff song from the six songs, Opus 4, number 5, Usti Niva Moya, O You My Cornfield. Basically the exact same trumpet melody we had in Fatalis. And you hear that trumpet fanfare, it's just like this, like, I feel like it, the fanfare is probably the, uh, the, the anthem of the hunters fighting against Fatalis, probably the most ruthless foe they've ever had to deal with. And then also that snapping, it's like the jaws, ping, ping. Ping! That's the snapping of the teeth, you know? And we have, it's like a tornado that's unrelenting and we're constantly spinning around and we're, we're constantly being thrown off guard. Attack from here, jump up, attack from here. There's this constant feeling of, of just not being on your guard and, and, always, and always feeling like really in a vulnerable position. And that's sometimes too, da, 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 da. that's, that, I think that's like this courage anthem, this, this keep going, we can do it, we can do it. So every once in a while we have this sort of hope surrounded by this incredible fear. <laughs> It's like he shoots this giant fireball or something and then that that the percussion instruments there are are so violent and aggressive it's incredibly powerful <laughs> Thank you. 
That's the main theme. And we have it, but we have it in like this inverse changed changed pitch. Again, we're referencing that that's calling a calling onto a theme. And this referencing here is very twisted and, and deformed. And I think I think we're in like a berserk mode here where the the it's not just a fight. Now it's like a fight for true survival. It's also cool. The piano starts there. That thing. It's a little bit of manipulation in the back of the throat. It's a trill. It's cool to hear a large group of people do a trill at the same time. It's basically like a stepwise. It's no, 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 no. freaking sick it's raw primal power That section to me is like the hunters saying, you know what, enough is enough. We're gonna fuck, you know, enough is enough. We're gonna do this. We're not gonna let anybody stop us. We are going to put Fatalis down. And so this is automatic like surge of adrenaline and power. I mean, like I'm, I'm jamming out over here. This is incredible. <laughs> Now Fatalis has the strength again. You feel the depth of like necessity here of like survival. There is such a need to survive this and the stakes are incredibly high. And I think like if Fatalis is allowed to stay and exist, there could be a mass extinction of the planet. There's something incredibly serious here. This is not an ordinary fight, you know?
was that? Oh, oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I love getting smacked in the face by good music like that. That is amazing. Put that in a symphony hall. I dare you. Program this in a concert. I dare you. I dare you. Put this in a symphony hall today. Don't call it Monster Hunter World Fatalis theme from Iceborne. See what people say. They don't know. They don't know that this is from, from Monster Hunter. You put this in a symphony hall, they're going to lose their freaking minds. They're going to be like, what is this? Is this some up and coming composer? No. You know, I mean, this... Th this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. And again, I mean, we're talking about, we're talking about like, again, character theme. This is a character theme. Like, do we understand how difficult it is to write a composition about one thing that doesn't necessarily have like a through arc, like an opera or a symphonic like po tone poem would where there's multiple movements? I mean, yes, there are multiple movements in this, and this is basically, a, uh, it's the same length as many movements in a symphony. I mean, this this theoretically is a symphonic work, but like, it's a tone poem. It tells a story. But this, this deserves a spot at the table. Listen to it. It's some of the most intense stuff I've ever heard. And I've been around this for 10 years. You've got, you've got callbacks to the Rite of Spring, to, to classical composition. Then you've got Rachmaninoff in here, where with a clear melody variation on a Rachmaninoff song. And then you've got the own original ideas combined into all of this into a fantastic piece of music. I don't know what I have to do. I mean, like this, this is, cla this. listen, that's all I got to say about that. I mean, this is incredible music. I'm literally in shock after listening to this. I, I never heard it before. I'm completely blown away. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.